Formula One activities are very secretive. Most people don't know what we do. A racing engine, it's a piece of art, a symphony of a thousand pieces, powered by fuels protected by lubricants. In Formula One to win, you need every component delivering and delivering above your competitors. Every hundreds, one tenth of a second that you can gain, of course, is very welcome. Racing is basically detail engineering for every part. They are one of the unsung heroes behind the scenes. Exxon Mobil started with Rebel Racing in 2017. The lubricants impacts the thousands of pieces inside the engine, so they optimize every component. My job for the past 14 years has been developing the fuel composition for the Formula One program. And if you have the right fuel, you can actually then change the design of the engine to make it even more powerful and more efficient. Whenever we sponsor a team, we also come in as a technical partner. There's reasons for it. We want to develop technology in the most advanced hardware. Success for us means finding innovative technologies that we can then apply to our consumer products. And in the first season, I believe, there was only one win that was secure. So we started from these humble beginnings. It is a partnership between Honda, Red Bull, and ExxonMobil. For us as a company, there was a new fuel specification, a fuel containing ethanol, an E10 fuel. When you put ethanol into the fuel, you lose uh, probably about 5% energy in the fuel. Honda was really, really keen to improve the performance of the engine as much as possible to catch Mercedes. Honda had this concept of a smaller than zero size engine. This engine will be not just an iteration, it will be a, a redesign. One of the challenges that we dealt with was that because it's smaller, it's working harder, the temperatures generated, you know, the stresses are more. When they roll out this engine, they found that the lubricants did not provide sufficient protection. So you have this challenge of let's develop an engine oil and a fuel that's the best fit, the best match for the new Honda engine. The tricky part is not just giving more protection, we want to also give the same power as well. One percent of engine power is roughly of a tenth of a second. One percent of downforce is roughly a tenth of a second. So if you can improve on those two key areas of friction and temperature rating, which allows us to be more aerodynamically efficient, it makes the car go quicker. Simple as that. All of the protection comes from the Mobile One lubricants and all of the energy of a Formula One car comes from the mobile E10 fuel. The grid now between pole and, and temp is quite often now two or three tenths, so it's incredibly tight. The Honda was maximizing their engine design and the fuel was doing its best, but they were reaching a kind of a plateau in terms of performance. ExxonMobil is multifaceted, so they help us a lot on the chassis side. And then we use an analysis equipment at the track. In a similar way that humans will get a blood test, we are on hand to help the team test the fuel for quality control and analyse the lubricants for any reliability issues. We test roughly 90 samples a week. What we're doing is making sure there's no signs of higher than normal friction or any signs of any leaks that would prevent the car from running on track. What has surprised us is with the tenaciousness and the appetite to improve and to keep pushing the boundaries within ExxonMobil to match our own ambitions. People are expecting you to solve problems and you're not solving problems, you get a lot of pressure. And we've gone through many, many iterations. There are a lot of other failures that at the time ideas that we tested that didn't work. So A to Z and then go back. Another A to Z and then another A to Z and we found the molecule for the lubricants.
If you stare at something long enough and you want an answer, you start to see things. And that's when I turned over to the uh, actually looking at every molecule in the fuel. With enough experience, with enough curiosity, maybe you can develop the type of understanding. Once you have it, you become very powerful. I've been looking at this so long that I think I start to see a pattern. So it's for the performance to improve in the fuel, we need to do this. And lo and behold, I have 21 negative numbers, the next number was positive. When you got to the first race and then the first race we're all into second. Pleasant surprise to ourselves is unpleasant surprise to everybody else. I don't think anybody could have ever imagined the kind of success that we saw in 2023. Winning all bar one race was an outstanding performance. We broke records that have stood since 1988. And in fact, the race that we did lose Singapore, I think it was a wake up. I think no one really thought that would be possible. It gives me a lot of confidence knowing that, you know, the best people in the world are working on your side. And that makes it also when I jump in the car, I don't need to worry about that because I know that's sorted. Watching these wins accumulate was quite a surreal moment. 21 out of 22 races is certainly not a bad, a bad outcome. Well, I, that, this is the greatest, you know, you can't, you can't expect more than that. The breakthrough from Honda, from, from us, from Red Bull. I don't want to get into the technical details. <laughs> I don't want the competitors to pick it up, so. <laughs> you're never satisfied, right? You always want more, and of course, you're very happy with what we are achieving right now, but you always think about what you can improve and what you can, what you can do better. So what's next? To us, our focus has shifted to Red Bull 4 powertrains. 2026 is a brand new challenge for us. We've effectively created a startup engine business and ExxonMobil are really playing a crucial role. And what's very exciting is the future with the sustainable fuels that are being introduced into Formula One for 2026 onwards. Obviously without the right lubricants, without the right fuel, the car just won't perform. For us, it's tomorrow. 2026 is tomorrow. We are working on these solutions full speed. <laughs>